Hi, uh, my name is Michael Reyes. I'm the chef and the owner of Paz Tacaria Truck uh, here in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, today's Tuesday morning. We call it Grateful Tuesdays. Uh, what that means to me, or what that what, what that is for me, is it's, it's it's a day of gratitude, and that's the reason we're here. Bottom line, um, I'm so grateful for my city. I'm so grateful for what I get to do, and uh, because I'm grateful. Uh, I've, I've seen a, a need working downtown, being part of downtown, and uh, I just couldn't idly stand by and not do something. I have an ability, I have a purpose, I make food, um, and I can share that food, and I can give that food to people in need. How many burritos did you pass out today? Today we fed 380 burritos. We average about 400 to 500. Um, that's every Tuesday. These are people getting their first meal of the day. Um, even with all the assistance that's in this particular area, um, it's not enough. It's not enough. There's too many in need and not enough support, not enough uh, doers or people that can help make a way, open a door, start it off with a, a meal and help somebody get their day going in a, in a better direction. And why are you doing this, Michael? For that, um, getting up in the morning, starting your day. Um, I, I joke around and tell everybody, I woke up breathing, uh, I'm good to go. So uh, that's as simple as my gratitude starts. Everything else is up to me. These are my decisions every day, just like people who are here down here. Um, but there's still a need. We still got to help out. And so. Um, how would you encourage other people to get involved and just take action in the way that you've taken action? Come down here and, and volunteer. Come down to Cass, come down to St. Vincent's, go to your own church, go to your own neighborhood. There's somewhere right in your very neighborhood where there's need. Um, act, act on it now, act on it immediately. Uh, those ripples can put a lot in motion and change lives. Lives are here because they changed. We can help them change in a better way. Um, I just refuse to, to walk away from responsibility. And I have wills on my, on my, on my, what I call my, my craft, my, my business, my livelihood. Um, I can't roll on these streets without giving back to these streets. So uh, I won't. We're gonna give, we're gonna give more than we take. And it's gonna perpetuate our motion, it's gonna perpetuate our energy. And that's very, very valuable to me. I think it's very necessary in a very negative world right now. So there's a lot of negative energy, there's a lot of negative noise, and I would love to just turn up the volume in kindness, turn up the volume in goodness, turn up the volume in action. And because of these that volume we can you know we can balance out you know balance it out. And things are out of balance. Things Agreed. are out of balance. Thanks what you do for what, everything you do, man. I love you. Love you too. Thank you. This is where we are Tuesday morning. We put up trash cans. We have somebody help clean up uh, 12th Avenue in Madison. Uh, there's a lot of people down here who need all kinds of help. So. Hey, you too. Matt. Hi. You've been out here two weeks in a row. What are your thoughts? Uh, it's powerful. I mean, the line never gets shorter. It's always around that block right there. Um, it's important to remember that these are people. These are, they're not just things that lay on the streets or they stay in shelters. They're actual people. They're you, they're me, they're everybody. And I was talking to Michael last week, and it's kind of a profound understanding that we are literally two seconds away from being in a situation like that, so why not do what we can to help out? Um, Thanks for being out here. Thanks.